Hello, Nikolai Markovich from Echo Lake Technologies, echolaketech.com. And in this video, I want to give a shout out to Karina, who noticed that in one of my other videos for uh, creating a message app, that I had forgotten to show how to um, put the workflow or what the workflow was for create a new thread. So uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on this overall design. It's in the uh, earlier videos, which I'll put a link to uh, below. But for completeness, uh, let's walk through what this button, Create a New Thread, does. All right, so it's simply the first step is uh, we're going to create a, a new message. So we have this uh, message data type. And all we're doing is message text is the multi-input type messages value. So that's right here, multi-input type messages value. And that's all we're doing for that, so for creating a new message. And then the next step is to create a new message thread. So if you remember in the data structure, we have new messages and multiple messages go into a message thread. So here we're creating the message thread. And in this, we are doing messages in thread. We add the result of step one, create a new message. So basically what that does is it's taking this uh, newly created message and it's adding it to the messages in the thread here. The next is the thread name. So in this design, the multi dropdown sent to list values first name. So what we're doing here is we're just basically taking the, the first name um, of, of those um, people that we're sending the message to, and we're adding that um, to the thread name. The next thing we're doing is the users uh, add list. So basically, this is adding that same list of people, uh, but it's the user themselves. Uh, we're adding that to the user list. So this one here, users add list. So users, uh, so message thread here. Let me go to the data structure, message thread. So messages and thread, um, list of messages. So we already did that in the earlier uh, part of the step. Users, so list of users. So you, just as a uh, design, uh, database design, you'll notice like thread name here is just text and users is a list of users, messages and thread is a list of messages. So if you're going to have multiple uh, data um, data points in a data structure here, um, or a data field, I should say, you'll be using this, this list. And um, instead of having an equal sign here where the thread name is, it's going to be add uh, to the list. Um, and the next one here, users add current user. Um, and that's just so that we know who the thread originator is. It's the current user. The last step is to go and uh, change this um, custom state of messages new thread to no. And all that does is once we've created this new thread here, the conditional, um, sorry, it's on this group, the conditional is going to be messages new thread is no, make this element uh, invisible. Uh, so basically this is going to hide this um, this group once the message is created. So that's basically the missing step uh, from the earlier video. I apologize to all the viewers out there. And again, thank you, Karina, for um, noticing that. And I hope this video helps uh, others who are trying to build a message app. Uh, if you do like this uh, post, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any uh, comments or questions about it, uh, please leave a comment below and I will be sure to get back to you.